Welcome to another Gaz Right video. Welcome back to the beautiful Bali and welcome to Luna Changu's latest beach club nestled in on a beautiful coastline as you can see behind me five dining concepts two swimming pools a plunge pool an ice tight bath some diving boards and a hell of a lot of entertainment as well we're going to be taking you on the full tour but if you have any questions bang it down in the comments while you're down there hit that subscribe button still on route to 2k subs let's get cooking baby welcome to my crib um, let's do the full tour i'm going to try and do it in one take so hopefully your boys got it in the locker this way you get dropped off at the start you need to get a little shuttle from the old car park you can get scooters you can get cars taxis will drop you off there and it was about a 10 minute wait until you got yeah one of those shuttles you can get flowers for a little bit someone special if you want and then they've got five different dining concepts so they've got a table 369 m if you just swing around to your right hand side there which is a little bit more of a formal experience if you're looking to do something with friends something with family it's something a little bit more up market silly silly food coming out here i'll overlay as we kind of go some different food options um but i'd say this is probably the most formal um of the dining areas obviously you can order food drinks all that good stuff um, to your bed obviously I had a little beer while early on but we thought we'd get the video in the locker now before it gets a little bit too busy a little bit too active they've got two swimming pools here this is the first one and I am talking to Mike and quite quickly so we don't get copyrighted by all the vibey music but yeah silly silly views I would say it is a lot more kid focused to be honest than our time when we were at Finns um, and then um, if you just swing around this way this is the the diving pool uh, um, I'm not sure how many dives I'll be going off on the top ropes there that could be pretty loose um, when you do book here there's different beds you can book I'll show you where me and Emma are staying very very shortly um, but I think that's a really good spot here um, I would say there's obviously a lot more kids but again it depends who you're coming with what you're doing what the vibe is top work from M on the camera keeping it smooth all the people flying at her we paid two million um, for our bed and then obviously you have to pay um, like the service charges on top em or watch your feet down there um, so yeah you're looking at about a hundred pounds or 95 pounds uh, for the day if you're splitting that between two splitting that between four it's gonna make life a lot more easy however if you're splitting it between four it means one thing and one thing only it means less beer worries drinks in here it's about three pounds 75 for a beer um, em paid how much do you pay for a cocktail em? it's about seven pound for a cocktail and it is about how much for a wine? 145, which is about seven pounds. So this is kind of like the main, um, like the main area. And um, you can get a little panel per on this side where we go around. You've got the vibe. It reminds me of Taylor Voz in Ibiza, chucking a few shapes, chucking a few things. This is their beer garden. I think I could teach them a thing or two in how to, uh, how to structure the old beer garden. But you know, we can't have everything in life. And this is a pretty good shot here. So straight in the middle, I would say we got given a bed right in front of the speakers, and it is unbelievably loud to the point where like my ears were ringing so we've moved to a little bit more of a secluded a little little bit more of a sensual um, spot which I'll show you very very shortly because they only have speakers right at the front so basically if you're sat on the side it's a little bit quieter but I feel as if they could upgrade that by having speakers do you know what I mean dotted around just having an overall better ambiance however we'll take it we'll take it one of the key things I think here is to be honest, I like to be 100% um, yeah, honest with my reviews and reactions and I would say get into the bed and trying to sort your bed out I think was a little bit poor to be 100% honest it's not as efficient as Finns you get there you feel like a VIP they take you to your bed and the service is phenomenal here we tried to switch beds it was like a big fuss then they have these little lock boxes which I think are a really good feature however they were like oh sorry we've lost the keys for your lock box so we don't have one of those but we won't let that ruin a good day um, let's keep it moving let's keep it walking top work to the camera woman as always she's got a video of me look where her feet are going it's absolutely ridiculous ridiculous uh, behavior but yeah I think pretty good vibes um, obviously I'll give a full review at the end of the day but as we're walking through here now copyright is absolutely flying up so we're gonna have to keep whistling into the old ears so yeah they don't let us know you can't be posting that online and if you're not hearing this now that's because uh, yeah we've gone for some music and we've had to go for a little talk over but yeah I would say the service itself needs a little bit of fine-tuning but yeah can't complain uh, on the beers from and then we'll keep walking walking up here and then we'll give a little pan towards the scene in a second because we were right in the mixer which would be good for later however I'm gonna go dive on our bed now because this is um, this is where the legends are lovely little setup 
on here. So you're just chilling, relaxing, and um, check the view that way. Silly behavior this way. So yeah, we've got obviously all the sea in the backdrop. It is a private beach here. So you can kind of go down these little steps, get yourself um, onto the beach down there. It's a black sand beach. It's rain as fair. It's Iceland. Getting in the old Bonwaris. But yeah, I think just being to the side of um, yeah the main DJ bit, I think is a lot, lot better because it's a little bit more secluded. It is a little bit more exclusive over there. It's a little bit mixy. But yeah, give a full pan round them so you get like the, the view from the other side. Um, but yeah, it's nice vibes overall. I think at the minute I'm slightly, I'm going to have to say this a little bit quietly, slightly leaning towards fins. But let me show you the Pierre the resistance, one of the most flare things um, over this side. Um, so they've got, so you go from the top pool, which is on here, where we kind of started after the first restaurant. Uh, it goes down a little lazy river style, and you end up here. You might think this is the end of the pool. Oh no, it's not, baby. You can get on the water slide straight down to the Utopia Cave. And once you're down the Utopia Cave, there is a little bar action. Let's fly down here, Em, and show them what's going on. Watch out for all these kids. It's an absolute minefield. It's an absolute assault course. Em's gonna be counting this as her daily cardio but you've got a nice little like plunge ball here if you're into the chili dippers the ice baths looking for that rest recovery recuperation that's a little spot for you and i think anything where it's like an infinity pool infinity uh, style pool um careful on your feet as well em it's a little bit slippy um yeah it's just silly behavior silly views i don't want to go down too far here um because yeah it is a very hard um for, for me to talk i'm gonna get out of the way of em but you've got obviously a ridiculous pool love the the pink floats in the mix as well and yeah an extra bar woman in the pink she's obviously done her research online checked out the old jpegs on their insta and she's come matching with the pool floats but again silly views into the water silly vibes and yeah we're going to be absolutely having our way the entire day seeing what's going on i should have waited for when there's a little bit more sun because we've been under cloud cover the entire time but you know when life gives you lemons I was going to say you make lemonade, but not today, baby. We're making lemoncello. We're just absolutely having our way with it. Any questions? Down below. And that is it. Another G-Dubs video boxed off. A little bit more aggressive, informative. Getting into the mixer with this one, obviously just doing a straight up tour, one take. So positives here. The bed is absolutely sensational, to be fair. Huge amount of space. The food's good, the drinks are good, the beers are decent, and you've got an absolutely ruthless view like this behind me. Sun setting in the distance. It's just absolutely naughty amounts of vitamin D battering into the old skin. However, you know with this channel, it's honest. I always give you 100% honesty with my feedback. They're the positives, however, the service here is super, super poor. We tried to change beds, very difficult. There's no lockbox on our on our thing, and it's just like made into like such a big issue, and the people just are very unfriendly. There are one saving grace, the staff, and that is the, the ladies and gents that bring the drinks around. Unbelievably nice, unbelievably friendly, so nothing but good words to say about them. But for me, if you're only gonna come to Changi, if you're only gonna come to Bali, and you're gonna go to one beach club, hand on heart, 100%, go to Finns, better service, better staff, better people, better vibes, um, and yeah, that's it. It's, it's one of them where it's like, is it a bad place? Obviously not, it's still an absolute ruthless day out. However, it is a case of, do you know what I mean? When you're paying money, when you're investing this sort of stuff, it's you're paying for that service, and the service, it's not just like, oh, it's average, it's actually really rude, to be honest. So yeah, for me, stick to fins, that is where the magic happens. If you enjoy what you see, if you have any questions, bang it down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one, baby. Remember to share. He's always cooking.